In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Windows Subsystem for Linux in order to mount a Linux file system. So my computer has separate drive for Linux, and so I can show you if you open up partitions, create and format partitions, you can see that I have something for Windows and then I have a drive for Linux. So Windows doesn't label anything as EXT4 because they just don't support Linux file systems. So what most people do is use like Linux file system reader, which is uh, some free, it's a free uh, tool that lets you uh, save Linux files to your computer. The problem though is that you can't save to it and it's slow. So there's a huge advantage to using Windows Subsystem for Linux. In my last video, I showed you how you can install Windows Subsystem for Linux and what it's used for and all that. Um, in this video, we're gonna use it in order to mount an ext4 partition. Open up the PowerShell. Just type in PowerShell. From the PowerShell, you're gonna type this. I can leave this in the description of the video. Everything needs to be, everything is case sensitive, so just make sure this is typed in correctly. It's git dash cim instance space dash query space and then in quotes select star from win32 disk drive. That's like an SQL statement. Select all from win32 underscore disk drive. So when you type this in, it will show you the different drives that are being used. That would be Yeah, that's the Intel one. So physical drive zero is the Intel one. So zero is the one on top. You might just want to use this query to make sure that it's pointing to the right one whenever we go to mount it. So we're going to do WSL space dash dash mount space backslash backslash dot backslash and then the physical drive just as it appears up here. That's how it's going to show down here. So do physical drive zero. Paste it in here physical drive zero and we're going to give it the partition so it's since it only has one partition it's the first partition if it has multiple partitions just make sure that you're linking to the uh, correct ext4 file system we're going to mount okay administrator access is not needed so what i'm going to do is copy before you open PowerShell, right click and choose run as an administrator and then you can do the mount. So you can see that it is mounted at slash mnt slash wsl slash physical drive 0p1. So if I go into our file system here, go into our Windows subsystem Ubuntu and I think it actually shows mount wsl physical drive 0p1 and slash home and I can get to my Linux file system there and everything is writable and readable and then whenever you are done with that just close out all the instances and then you want to unmount it's WSL space dash dash unmount and then the location to the drive now it successfully unmounted. So that's the way you can mount a Linux file system to your Windows machine. Um, it goes pretty quick when you're transferring files. It's a lot better than using Linux file system reader because you can read and write to it and it is faster. So thank you for watching this video and subscribe if you like these types of videos.